Sagittarius, I'm Eddie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 10th to the 16th of September. So this is going to be quite a nice week for us, in particular because it is my birthday on Tuesday, but it's going to be a nice week for everybody else as well because we are now riding off the back of New Moon in Virgo, which was just at the end of last week. So what this is going to do is it's going to encourage us now to start putting things into motion. This has been really difficult recently because of all the retrogrades that we've had. We've had Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde, Saturn retrograde. It has been a bit of a chaotic time and I think most people that I've spoken to have felt really stuck with this energy, like they can't move forwards in some way. So now that we've had this new moon in Virgo and we're in Virgo season, we've almost kind of like opened the doors a little bit now in order to start walking forwards in some way, start progressing into something and to start solving the things that have needed solving for a while, start finding different solutions to things, start analysing things from a different mindset and seeing things in a different light, which is going to be really welcome for all of us that have felt stuck with this retrograde energy, because now we are ready to progress into a new energy. So the shifts that we've got this week are Venus is moving into Scorpio. So this is going to encourage us to get quite deep with some of our relationships. And in particular, it's going to get us to focus in on any trust issues that we might have had with people, um, any emotional blockages that we might have had within ourselves. It's going to bring a lot of emotions up to the surface, which might feel a little bit like, oh, at first, it might be a bit overwhelming or a bit unwelcome even that, you know, you think, well, I don't want to feel these feels that I've got going on. But it is a really necessary process, it's almost like purging, because where we've been stuck in these retrograde energies for the last few weeks, a lot of our emotions have kind of been put to the back because it's been so mental, it's been a very kind of like um, introspective kind of energy. So now the focus is on connecting with those people that perhaps we might have neglected the connections with, or perhaps you know we might have had some miscommunications with because of Mercury retrograde, or perhaps even we haven't been able to connect with ourselves for a while and we've felt a little bit out of sorts, like we don't really know what we're meant to be doing or where we're going. This Venus in Scorpio is going to help us to kind of like bring up any of these emotions to the surface and recognise where any block blockages have been holding us back. So it's really important that you just go with that and to just see where it takes you and to just let anything come up that wants to come up and then just kind of like have a look at it and try not to like attach to things too much and just be like, okay, so this is how I feel or this is how the other person feels. What can we do about this now? So another thing that's going to help us with that is Mars is moving into Aquarius. So this is going to get us to be really motivated to connect with a, a bigger group of people. So if you've shut yourself away a little bit recently because of you know any of these like other things that have been going on or any of these like, inner blockages that we've had, then now is the time to put yourself out there and to reach out to groups of people like co-workers, group of friends, um, any hobbies that you've got, any classes or sessions that you go to. Just try and see if you can go and like absorb the energies of lots of different people, talk about lots of different subjects, like try and um, take on some new mindsets perhaps. Like You might find that the answer for the problem that you've had recently or the problems that you've had recently are going to lie within other people's viewpoints. So really just putting yourself out there and talking with lots of different people is going to help you to just stay open and to kind of see the path that you're meant to be going down now with this Virgo energy. And this is going to be a really um, enlightening time for us if we try to go with it, even if it feels uncomfortable at first, if you think like, you know, I'm a little bit worried about putting myself out there in a group or, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to just crack on and do my own thing actually kind of like trying to just go with the energy even if it feels uncomfortable is going to really help you to figure some things out and to learn some things about yourself and to like purge any of these like emotions that have been stuck recently so yeah it's going to be a good week for that now i'm going to do you a little tarot card reading just for a little bit of extra insight for the week so what have we got for sagittarius this week what messages have we got let's go with this one Oh, nice. Three of Wands. 
Okay, so things are starting to come together for you now and any like creative passions that you've had recently that perhaps might have felt a little bit stuck like we were saying before are now ready to move forwards and you're looking to the future a, little, a lot more now and you're kind of ready to leave the past behind you, you're ready to embrace something new and to start something that is going to really fill you up and make you feel really warm and full of joy. But in particular this card says that you need to be confident about it and you need to take risks and you need to put yourself into new environments um, and to kind of like keep your head in the game basically. So it, it's telling you that there are new things coming to you and that the things that you've had you know focusing on recently you've had your mindset on something or you've been desperately wanting something or you've been wanting to achieve something you've been wanting to manifest something in your life that's ready to come to you but you have to trust and you have to you know keep going down that path keep putting your energy into what it is that you want and just keep moving forwards essentially because it is coming for you it's just that it's a little bit further down the line and you just have to like hang in there basically keep putting your like heart and soul into what it is that you want and it will start to manifest for you eventually so that's a really nice card this week so yeah have a lovely week Serge and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe see you next week